Hey guys, it's Janine here and welcome to That's Cakeable for a little bit of a festive Christmas edition. These gorgeous hanging Christmas bauble cake pops are super, super easy to make and would look beautiful on any Christmas cake or Christmas table as standalones. Make them in any color theme you like. Just make sure you add sparkle because, well, sparkle makes everything festive, right? Anyway, Christmas is super busy as it is. I'm sure you've got lots to get done. So let's get on with the tutorial. So I've decided to keep these glitter baubles nice and simple. Instead of going with a spherical cake, which can be a little bit of a challenge, I've decided to go with cake clay or cake pop dough. So I even cheated a little bit more and bought my cake from the supermarket, crumbled that up and popped it into a bowl. Then I crushed some Marie biscuits or just plain biscuits and popped them into the cake mix just to give it a bit of texture. The good stuff, a little bit of rum, of course, you can take that out if this is for kitties, and a sprinkle of nutmeg for that festive flavor. I then went ahead and added white chocolate ganache until I was happy with the consistency of the cake pop dough. Use gloves here because it gets super messy. Go ahead and work it until it is the consistency you're happy with. A little bit like this. Roll it into a ball and it all stays together nice and firmly. Okay, now we wanna make these guys hang so it needs a base support. So what I've done is taken some styrofoam balls, I used a few different sizes, and I've just sliced the base of that ball off with a serrated knife. I then took some aluminium foil tape and covered the bottom just to make it food safe. You don't want foam in your cake. Not too tasty. I'm just flattening out those edges so we've got no sharp pieces of foil there. Then I take a skewer and find the centre of my styrofoam ball and run the skewer right through the middle. and make sure that there's plenty of room to work with here. So put it through a few times. Just for that extra food safety and to secure the cake pop mix, I'm adding some white chocolate ganache to that base. Now let's create the ball shape. So I'm using the base and I'm adding my cake pop dough to the ball. And then just using my hands, I am rounding it out into the ball shape placing it on, rolling it around in my hands, all those sorts of things until you get the right shape. My studio was pretty hot as I was filming this, so I was losing a little bit of shape along the way, but I just kept manipulating it and it was fine. Then I ran that skewer back through so that the hole goes all the way through the cake ball now. This is really important if you want them to hang. I then placed my cake ball onto a piece of foam and popped it in the freezer for about 10 minutes to firm up. Once it was all nice and chilled, I took it off the skewer, turned it upside down and added some white chocolate ganache to the underneath of the cake ball. Then I placed it back onto my foam and put the skewer back through. It's good too to help support the cake ball as you're working because they like to fly around a little bit. And then I covered the entire thing in white chocolate ganache. I then used my flexi scraper to make sure it was nice and smooth, but because these balls are so small, it can be a little bit difficult to get around the edges. I do have a little bit of a trick for that though. What I did was took a gloved hand and a little bit of warm water and just manipulated the shape with my hands. It also helped smooth it out really, really well. And that was that. I left that aside to set and then it was time to decorate. So I'm using a combination of fondant and modeling chocolate here that I've tinted pink. Of course, you can make it any color you like. 
and I've rolled out enough to go over the ball and a little bit under. So make sure you roll out a little bit extra just for safety's sake. Now because the ball was nice and chilled still, I didn't need to add any water or anything to attach my fondant modeling chocolate mix. I just laid that over the top and then started smoothing it out. I found this to be the easiest way. Once that was done, I picked it up and started gathering underneath. Now this is why I'm using a mixture of modeling chocolate and fondant, because the seams smooth out beautifully. I then just gently twisted until I took the excess off the bottom of the ball. Pinch. Then using my hands, magical tools, and a little bit of corn flour, I rolled it around in my hands and buffed out those seams. That one's ready to go. Now you wanna go in and find where that hole is and place a skewer back through the center of the ball. Just using my hands here to manipulate it and make sure that everything is still nice and smooth after that step. Now to put the ribbon through, you wanna take a length of ribbon, whichever color you want, and make sure that it is a good length. Flip it in half and place it at the base of the ball and then using a skewer, Feed that through the center of your Christmas bauble. It's better to wait until they're a little bit set before you do this so you don't ding it up and make it all messy. Once it's pulled through, remove any excess cake that may have gathered on that ribbon as you pulled it through. Tie a knot in the bottom that's larger than the whole size that you've made from the skewer and voila, it's going to hang. I then placed a little decorative ribbon on the top. And now what I'm doing is just using a little bit of washi tape, you can use some masking tape, just to move those ribbons out of the way while we finish the decorations. I hung this on a fruit stand, you can hang it on anything, or you can just leave it on your bench if you wish, and covered the entire thing in piping gel. Once I covered it in piping gel, I went ahead with edible glitter and sparkled it up. Remove that masking slash washi tape. And there you have it. A festive Christmas bowl, beautiful for any cake adornment or they're gorgeous on their own. And I guess the added wow factor besides the sparkle is that they really hang. Now I wouldn't recommend hanging these off an actual Christmas tree because they are pretty heavy, unless of course you've got a super strong Christmas tree, but you could hang them off hooks and other places through the house to make the house look festive and smell sweet and tasty. Well guys, thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. I hope you got something out of it and you can create your own magical Christmas baubles for your Christmas celebration. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button down below and hit that bell so that you're informed every time I upload a new video. Wishing you all a very safe and happy Christmas season and I look forward to seeing you next time. You know what time it is now. Time to go and get your cake on. See you guys.